so planted Go with it, ring on my finger, but yet I'm still killing them single-handed Drum on a gun like I'm Ringo I'm in this bitch with no chain like I'm Django We from the ends where they know that they can't go She go both ways, so I'm tasting a rainbow <laughs> Yummy, they got no more bread, they're crummy The same way that Mello was staring at Bree is the way that I stare at the money I'm ready to risk it, all if I lift it, bet I won't miss it You a statistic, thought shit was sweet till we popped up and popped off the top of your mystic I go ballistic, popped out the drop, got the drop on the up, now I'm opportunistic I like the shop What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a product review, uh, kind of a comparison a little bit uh, with the Swamp Fox Optic Justice. So real quick disclaimer, I'm, I've said I'm going to start doing this in the future. Uh, I am an affiliate of Swamp Fox. Um, they don't send me stuff for free. I just have to pay a little bit less. So um, that's what that is. So I do have a couple of justices that I've been running now for a while. I want to say running from almost a year and a half, two years. And I run them kind of in conjunction with my Holosun. So if you don't know, before they released uh, their Justice and Liberty series optics, I was running strictly Hollow Sun, right? Um, I had their original Kingslayer and I played around with it and I was trying to figure out if I liked it, if it was meant for what I was using it for. And then they released the Justice right after I finished reviewing it, saying that I enjoyed it. So I went ahead and got me a Justice and I'll kind of dive into that. Uh, for all of you guys that have been following me for a while now, guess what? I fixed my fire alarm, so you shouldn't hear any beeping um i still can't hear it but you guys all told me that you hear it so i turned it off but let's jump right into this so like i said i've been running this for two years now and before i was kind of strictly running the hollow sun like i had just said um and the only other optic i had besides my 507 and 508 from hollow sun was the delta point pro i got the delta point pro because i have a sig 320 and when i got it cut that's what i got it cut for because i wanted to try that optic out i heard really mixed things about it so i went ahead and got that but after i got my justice i kind of was like dang i don't know if i really like the delta point like that anymore right um i didn't have any major issues with my delta point other than the price being super expensive um some things i didn't like about it were the battery uh where it was located and my buttons to make my light brighter or dimmer it was at the top and there was no upsetting down setting you had to just continuously kick, click through until you can find it um, well, I didn't have those issues with the Justice. A couple of other things about the Justice in comparison to the Delta Point Pro, uh, window size, because that's what the Delta Point Pro was kind of known for in the beginning a lot. It had this huge window that everybody liked. Well, the Delta Point window came in at 25 millimeters and the Swamp Fox Justice comes in at 27. Now, the Justice was also released with another optic, the Liberty, which is a little bit smaller, and that one's coming in at 22 millimeters. So, if you don't want this massive window, but you still want a really durable optic, guess what? You can go with the Liberty instead of the Justice. Um, cool things about these optics are they did pass Sage Dynamics test to a specific. Now, again, you have all of us out here, regular reviewers that review stuff on kind of this lower level, and we all wait for Aaron Cowan, right? We want to see what he's going to do because that guy's in the business of breaking optics. Um, I do pay money for my optics, like I said. Swamp Fox doesn't send these to me, so because they're coming out of my pockets, I don't want to go ahead and break the optic as far as testing goes. I'll let him handle all that. He's got that. But um, I did bang one up a little bit. This is the one right here on my 320 that has the most amount of rounds on it from mine. I want to say I have like 24, 2,500 rounds on that one. Um, and I've smacked it on some wood, <laughs> smacked it on some metal a little bit, very, very lightly, like not lightly smacking it, but I don't do it too often to test it out. And it held up really, really well. Um, I've actually just recently been having battery, not issues, but I can tell my battery's dying on the one that I've had for a while. Um, so some quick specs about it. It's made out of 7075 aluminum, which is kind of like a standard right now where people are going towards. But what I want to talk about real quick is the shape of the optic itself. So right now in the firearms industry, whenever people are making optics, the shape has to be considered heavily on because that's what's going to go ahead and depend on whether it's going to pass these drop tests or if it's going to be durable enough to even drop in a real world scenario. Um, like I mentioned in Aaron Collins test, it made it through three drops, I believe, and there was a crack, but it didn't break. Now, again, depending on who you were, you might be that worst case scenario type of individual who's like, you know what? I want my optic to be bomb proof. So that's when you'll go with your RMRs or your Hollow Sun 508s or even your 509s with a closed emitter or even now the Romeo 2 that has the option to make a closed emitter or not. Uh, me for carry use, 
I'm pretty simple. I don't need something that's going to be bomb proof. If it can survive a couple of drops, I'm good to go. Um, Because again, I typically don't plan on dropping the gun. And knowing that I made it through at least three of them, I know I got three lives to go with that if need be. Um, it uses a 1632, uh, the Delta Point Pro uses a 2032. The other thing, the Delta Point Pro on uh, Leupold's website, they don't specify what kind of aluminum they use. Um, if you don't know, there's a, diff there's a couple different types. Um, I can't list all of them out. The other ones that I've seen are 7075 and 6075. So they just say aircraft grade aluminum. We don't know specifically which one that is. So that was a little janky to me. Um, battery life, right? So your Justice had a significant battery life difference as far as time goes comparison to your um dpp the battery life for swap fox optics is 4,000 hours at a mid setting the best battery life you got out of the delta point pro even at the lowest setting was only 1600 so you can almost double it and still not get what you would get at a mid-level which is what most people do is they leave it on mid-level so it's not too bright or too dim when they're carrying it and it's fine it does have a shake awake feature with something that a lot of um Customers were not complaining, but requesting because the Kingslayer, the original, did not have it. Um, so that's kind of just a comparison. Now let's just talk about my opinion. Um, this is the one that I'm currently running now on my OZ9 build. I love this optic. Uh, like I said, I've kind of been exclusively running this one now for the last two years. I've had it on my carry gun. I have it on my competition pistol now. It's a champ. The window's massive, so you don't really miss the dot. Um, the dot is pretty crisp. I just had eye surgery recently. So getting back into shooting, I'm not having any issues with it, but it does seem a lot brighter, but that's what you get for having eye surgery. All right. There's little things and I'm still in recovery for it. So I don't have an issue with it at all. Um, it doesn't trap dirt as bad as I thought it would on my 508. I noticed that dirt just gets in these places of the optic glass that I can't really get in there to clean. And I have to like kind of shave a toothpick or not a toothpick, uh, um, whatever the thing is for you, a Q-tip, excuse me. You have to shave, I have to shave a Q-tip to get in there and clean it. And it gets real aggravating. I don't have to do that with this because of how it was designed. It's big enough to where I can get a cloth in there and clean it, or I can get all that debris out. So I'm very, very happy with this optic. Um, one thing that I wish Swamp Fox would have done is given different options as far as MOA. So this is coming in at a 2.5, I believe, MOA, which again is pretty much the standard for your smaller dots. Um, and I kind of wish they would have had a 6, MO, six MOA. I want to play with that a little bit and they don't offer it there. But what I will say for the price, right, whether you're entry level, intermediate, or even experienced or advanced, like um, expert or advanced, I would say this is a great buy for the price. I want to say they're coming in around the 280, 300. I'd have to check. I haven't bought one in two years. I'm trying to get another one for one of my rifle setups soon. But for the price in comparison to your Hollow Sun, in comparison to your um, Aim Point, Delta Point, Trigicon, it's very, very solid. And again, I believe it's multi use. If you want to use it for carry, guess what? It's tough enough for carry. If you want to use it for competing, it has a massive window if you were to look into getting into something like carry optics. Um, that's what I'm t that's what class I'm in right now. I'm shooting at the carry optics, and I have no issue with it at all. So I definitely suggest it. I'm going to go ahead and run some more clips of me running it. Um, I did run it on my SP01 for a while. Again, no issues whatsoever in the slightest. So I definitely sign off on it. Um, I always suggest people that ask me like, hey, what optics am I, what optics should I look at? Um, I always tell people two. You're going to go Hollow Sun or you're going to go Swamp Fox, especially if you're trying to save money. If you don't want to save money and you want that um, old school feel, RMR is always there. If you want to go ahead and play with the Trigicon SRO, which is that round window, you're more than likely to do that. And if you're looking close emitter, Hollow Sun 509 and EPS hopefully on the way, as well as the Kraken. Um, I haven't gotten any updates yet on when the Kraken will release. I have seen Swamp Fox page posting a little bit more and more about it. So hopefully you see that coming here soon. But that's all I have for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you do not know, we're doing a giveaway at my 1,000 subscriber marks. We'll be giving away a dagger from Obsidian Training Group. FS Tactical Holsters has decided to go ahead, jump in, and give a free holster to whoever wins. And we'll be doing practically like an EDC. So you'll get some medical supplies, and you'll get an EDC light. So you get a holster. you get a blade. Uh, I won't tell you what blade it is until we reach our winner. Um, you get a light, a med kit. Everything you need to carry effectively. So... That's awesome, and you guys should definitely go check that out on Instagram. Again, uh, check out all of our sponsors. Um, Obsidian Training Group has been the biggest sponsor of the channel so far, so I'll go ahead and drop a link, check them out. If you guys are looking for holsters, go ahead and hit up FS Tactical. He's your guy. If you're looking for belts, 
Wilder Tactical has got you guys. They have some of the best belts on the market. EDC, battle belts, almost anything you need. If you're looking for parts, go ahead and check out Faction Firearms. I love everything Faction. If you're following me on social media, you know I'm continuously pushing their stuff because they make great products and the team over there at Faction is amazing. So I appreciate everything, guys. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. Again, you can always reach me on my Instagram. I'm always on my phone. You have a good one. Thank you for watching.